what's going on YouTube welcome back to the channel and in today's video oh crap I don't know if I got the tires one up all the way good hopefully I did um, anyways in today's video we are going to talk about rain and a couple of tips for beginner riders new riders uh, on how to handle being in the rain uh, or how to ride in the rain um, and as usual, anybody who has any extra tips on other than what I've say, or what I'm going to say in this video, please, please leave a comment down below with any tips and suggestions, or even share your story because I actually do like listening to you guys' stories on on your riding experience with um with these topics I'm usually coming out with. But yeah, so um, first. Probably the first big tip is like, yo, if it's going to rain, rain means slick. What you guys need to do is, you know, try not to be in the rain. It's really the safest route. You know, uh, putting yourself in in a predicament to where you may slide or get to accident and stuff like that. It's best not to do. Um, I know there's some a lot of people out there that says like, hey, there's this. this rain is not really that big of a deal uh, and it depends on what type of rain like it's hurricane season so rain from a hurricane on a bike uh, that that don't sound too good if it's like a light mist the rain you know it's not too bad but all in all any type of moisture on the road it's still it's still dangerous it's still dangerous so pro um well, my first tip was like if at all costs try not to ride in the rain because it'll be the safest route uh, try to ride in good fair weather best conditions possible where you can where you have just a little bit more control of the bike and outcome and stuff like that but the next let me think the next tip and this should be common sense but a lot of people don't understand it but like if it's how to put it if it starts to rain what you guys need to do is do not, and I repeat, do not grab your brake as soon as it starts to rain. Because what you guys don't realize is, is um, well, a lot of you guys do, but, you know, there's oil and debris on these concrete and um, asphalt roads. So, and, you know, they stay baked out in the sun. They get nice and sticky and stuff like that, old rubber oils and stuff like that. But as soon as water gets in contact, all that stuff lifts. And it is super, super slippery out. So, when I tell you do not brake right away as soon as it starts to rain, you just literally just slowly let yourself on, off the throttle, let the bike slow down. And what that does is it will allow the tires of your bike to settle on the asphalt or the concrete instead of hydroplaning because if you're going at say 25 miles an hour and you hit water you will continuously go 25 miles an hour whether you hit the brake or let off the um, whether you hit the brake or not you'll still continuously go now if you try you the goal is is not necessarily to stop your momentum the goal is, is to slow down your momentum enough to where your bike can settle and grip and get enough grip to go. So when you see it first starts to start the rain, don't don't hit hit the brake because as soon as you hit the brake, you're going to slide and you're going to crash. That's not a good sign. Um, as a matter of fact, me and the mechanic were talking the other day and um, he saw a crazy accident where a bike took out not took out but it spilled and uh from where the crash started from where it hit the first car to the next several car i believe it was several cars it hit like it was a pretty good wide range that's because the bike was coming up saw rain didn't slow down but as soon as it hit it, it continued on its momentum track hit the water hydroplaned and it was totally out of control um and when he, um, as soon as he hit, gets totally out of control, what he ended up doing was hitting the brake, which any chances of him trying to save the, um, save the, save the bike and himself 
was like, it's not going to happen because as soon as you try to stop your momentum, a moving momentum uh, on water uh, while hydroplating, it's going to skid and chances of you recovering from that is like next to none. So, so yeah, when I tell you guys like don't hit the brake right away once you see it's raining or roads are wet or anything like that, just don't. And as a matter of fact, that, could, that tip can go for not rain if you see puddles of water or anything like that. Don't hit the brake while going over a puddle of water because you will hydroplane and lose control. Um, another tip while in the rain uh, is like this should this is one of those common sense things is like take your time go slow try not to uh, try not to gun it and send it every time you're at a stoplight or a stop sign try not to race around vehicles and stuff like that because uh, any type of high-speed maneuvering while on wet surfaces the chances of you hit, hitting uh, uh, just a deep amount pocket of water will make you hydroplane and trying to recover from the hydroplane is next to none. So please don't don't do anything like that. So in re all due reality, it is possible to to ride in the rain, but you just got to be careful. You just got to slow down. Just take your time, you know, and try not to send it every time you do you're, you're out here you know just take it easy um, another thing too is as if uh, another tip is if if you get caught in the rain you know don't panic think about what I just said like slow down um, as a matter of fact another tip is to break early so slow down you know break early don't wait till the last second to break you know use your engine braking you know downshift if you can let the bike slow down try to get settled on the concrete you know and don't um, and don't try to gun it you got to think differently when when you're right um, when you're riding on wet surfaces you know like here we are at a red light You know, once it goes green, I'm going to slowly take off, pretending like if I'm in rain, and then slowly gain up my momentum. Like the goal is, is not to not to hydroplane or lose traction, which would be bad. So you just literally just take off super slow, and then you slowly go come up. I know it's not raining or anything like that right now. It seems really ridiculous and stupid to be doing this on dry surfaces, but I'm just trying to show you guys an example. Um, I would, you know, show you guys real world examples of being in the rain and stuff like that, but like it's it's not my thing. I don't like it. So I don't deal I try not to be in the rain, me personally, but if I do, as a matter of fact I did get caught in the rain a couple of weeks ago. Um and I did everything that I told you guys, you know. Um I slowed down, did not brake, um, try to make sure that the bike had traction and grip on the on the road and the surface. And, you know, I took my time. Um, it was drizzling at the time, but once, uh, but when I was well, trying to get to the destination where I was trying to go to, the rain started to get more and more intense. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm not dealing with this. So I turned back around, went to a truck stop that I saw. And, you know, I sat there until the rain cleared. Luckily, it was only about, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Luckily, we're in Florida, so rain doesn't really last too long. Um, this was around the morning time, so rain doesn't really last too long, about 20, 30 minutes, and boom, done. So, so you know, it's, uh, so that's, that's what I did. And when I got back on the road, the roads were still slick. You know, I literally took my time. I, anytime I came to a stop, I did not send it like everyone likes to do when they're on a bike. Because if I send it, I'm definitely sending the bike straight up in the fucking, um, into, into the air. So, no, that's not me. So I took my time. It was actually, that, that experience was probably actually the first real time I actually was in the, got caught in the rain. When I would have left the house if I'd known it was going to rain within like say five minutes of re-riding, no. I left the house, it was supposed to be a clear, 
sunny day and then all of a sudden this rain came out of nowhere as it is in Florida and people, meteorologists are, are very great at predicting things, so. Oh, wow. I did not know they put houses there. Holy cow, that's crazy. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there, uh, end the video there. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, if anybody have any tips, uh, any more tips to add to one in the rain, please do so put in the comments down below. I really do appreciate it. I'm pretty sure there's some of you writers out there that will appreciate these tips also. And for any new people who are watching this video for the first time, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And to everybody who's watching, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, like you guys have no idea these like buttons actually really do help push out my videos and help help my videos get out there uh, And to the 100 and the fellowship I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys particip for participating in my videos and for con liking commenting subscribing and any type of comment does actually help the, uh, help that algorithm as we do say So yeah oh there's a guy crossing the road. Well, at least it's not a chicken. Ha ha ha. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. You guys be safe out there. Oh, quick tip. Just remember, any new people, any old people, just always remember, ride your own ride. Whatever, whenever you feel comfortable doing, you do it. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, it's okay not to do it and try to keep up with groups and doing other things that fad things out there. But yeah, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.